the front room to okay. discovery. All right. I love Garaba for so many reasons. First of all, it is the most incredibly beautiful place in the world with incredible snow-covered mountains and incredible green fields. I mean, it's just unbelievably stunning. I love Garaba and I will come up with any excuse to come back here. How do you say really cold? Chatsurte. Mm. <laughs> Chatsurte? The people are great. Uh, the food is amazing. I love it here. I feel very much at home here. Um, it feels like this is a large kind of extended branch of my family. Throughout the, the war in the 90s, thousands of landmines were laid all over the country and these are now um, in people's backyards, they're in people's fields, they're, in, uh, they're in, in grazing land, they're on the side of mountains and there are accidents all the time. Um, and this is making it hard for people to feel like their children are safe, it's making it hard for people to make a living, it's making it hard for people to plow their land. Um, we talked to farmers who have been renting, uh, you know, 12 plots of land, but they've only been able to use 10 of them because two of them are an anti-personnel minefield until Halo Trust came and cleared the mines. And so Halo Trust is trying to make Araba safe. I really believe in the work that Halo Trust is doing to make Araba safe for all of its citizens, um, and I want to support it. They are working almost entirely with the people of Araba, so they are they are training local people. People are are helping to heal and 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 save Araba for themselves, which is pretty incredible. Halo Trust is about to launch a fundraising drive so that we, you know, instead of it being kind of governmental grants, which is usually how these organizations work, people like me and you will be able to support the incredibly important work they're doing, especially because, um, as, as some of you will know, the, the grants only work in the traditional borders of the Soviet oblast and the actual borders of Garaba, where people live and, and go to school and, and go pick flowers for their mother, are much broader. Um, and so these areas, it's vitally important that these areas also be cleared of landmines. Um, so people don't have to be terrified every time their kids run outside to play. We met with several families who had lost kids or kids who had been seriously wounded, and this has to stop. Um, and now you and I can help Halo Trust make it stop. We can make this country safe. So what am I doing here? I'm a photographer, and uh, I've worked on a lot of different stories I spent a total of three years traveling, covering both of Barack Obama's campaigns. I spent six years photographing Armenian communities all over the world, including here in Karaba. And now I'm here with Halo Trust to show you all the amazing work that they're doing um, so that you can see for yourselves how powerful the work that they're doing is and how what an amazing effect it has on the people here in Karaba, whether it is the families of the kids who would be in danger or the deminers and their families and how working for Halo Trust has changed their lives and uh, how they're working to make Gharaba a stronger, safer place. We now have the opportunity to make Gharaba's communities 100% landmine free. Uh, it will cost $8 million to completely clear the, fam the villages and the farmlands and the grazing land of Gharaba of landmines, both anti-personnel and tank landmines. And we have this amazing anonymous donor who will match up to $4 million. 
So we only have to raise four million dollars to ensure that the men, women, and children of Gharaba can walk to school, can pick flowers, can play in their yards, can play in their neighbors' yards, can explore the forest, get water, collect firewood, everything that they need to do to survive, start businesses, uh, by raising four million dollars. So this is our opportunity to make Gharaba safe and strong. <laughs>